He did the monster mash. The monster mash. It was a graveyard smash. Hey guys, what is up? It's Wardy here, back with another video, and yes, this is a another set review, and I got this actually a day before. This is my birthday set, and it, it's the Bro Sword New Light Guardian set, and I just got it recently for my birthday. It's a day early, but I am uploading this on my birthday. It had 265 pieces and retailed for $30. It is a Target exclusive, I believe, as I heard from some reviews, and it is recommended for ages 7 and up. Now let's take a look, we'll actually take a look at the exclusive figures first, and this is the first exclusive figure in the main like figure form of exclusive figures in this set and this is Korg he has the new microphone piece from Hidden Side or um, I believe it's actually Monkey Kid and that just simply removes off and on I think you can also turn it up the other way but it's a nice little add-on as he does wear headphones in the film this is based off Endgame he has a nice like shirt I wish he had shorts actually because it just looks weird with plain legs but then again I mean you can't really do much for a $30 set and then you got some nice dual motor arms at least. Like at least that looks good. And then you got a controller from series 19. And he got some. You got a new head mold. Well, not head mold. Helmet mold, which is pretty cool looking. And you also got like a side of his head where he looks pretty happy. So that's Korg. Now I'll take a look at the next and the final exclusive figure. All right. So our next exclusive figure, not really built like a figure. It has a figure head here. This is Meek. Who's supposed to be like a big scissor hand guy, but I guess he just slouched around in this film, so he's just like this. I like the head print, it looks pretty interesting. But nothing else much to say about him. Let's take a look at the final figure, and it's a very exclusive. So, th so this figure's not really exclusive exclusive. He is exclusive variant. So Bro Sword is not exclusive to this whole line of sets. He comes in two other sets, as I got the one, the other one he comes in. But he is in his fat form. Well, he's always in fat form, but he's in his shirtless form, which is crazy that they did that. He comes with an alcohol bottle. Yes, this is alcohol, and we'll see that later on as Thor becomes an alcoholic. I'm not afraid to say that since I'm 18 now. But, um, he has a Stormbreaker build, which I still hate. I hate the Stormbreaker build. Like, come on, like, go get, get yourself a better Stormbreaker. But other than that, there's nothing much else to say. He does have an alternate expression where he's pretty angry, which doesn't fit in the scene. But, oh, well, what you gonna do? Now I'll take a look at the build. And we're going to put the new Asgard sign here. Which looks pretty nice. It is a sticker. And that's just the little build. So now we'll take a look at the actual build itself. And the actual build itself is pretty nice. As it is a pretty decently sized build. Um, if we look at the front. You got like a nice little doorway that you can open. And you can walk into the place. And if we move in you got a window right here. You got um. You got a whip, I guess he's in the bondage, <laughs> but um, yes. Um, you got stuff up here, so I got somebody trying to call it some normal. Like, I think that's supposed to be like a ship up there. You got a cup bottle, you got a beer bottle, you got an action figure, which it would have been funny if they did a sword figure. And if we go over here, we got like our pitchfork for some weird reason. We got a grapple hook, we got this thing. You got a crate full of alcohol bottles, fireplace, and you got a blue fish in the crate. This is a Korg, I think, or something, like a keg. A keg, I think it is. You got an oar, you got a picture of the Ravengers, which is pretty cool. And then we got an area where you, I think people put Stormbreaker right here. I'm going to do that real quick. And yeah, you can. And also you got a Stormbreaker's pizza box right there, and I'll show that out later. <laughs> and then we got another can beer bottle I'm guessing that is I hope that's not because this is bad if he drinks this much we got a pizza slice we got a thing saying blip which is very inaccurate but oh well it looks interesting like and we got a full pizza I got another Stormbreaker pizza box we got um some alcohol beer bottle again and then we got another pizza bottle and that on there and yeah you got a feather, I don't know what that's supposed to be sticking out of the wall. And I think there's supposed to be, that's, that's supposed to be like some kind of air conditioner. Also got a shovel there. And if we move this out of the way and look at the TV. Yes, that's like a Lego version of Fortnite, I guess. Hit <laughs> Noob Master 69. I think that's Noob Master. But yeah, 
Looks like Corgan and Fort. Wait a minute. They gave him dual mortal legs. Why couldn't they do that for a set? But oh well, what you gonna do with Lego nowadays? But there's some interesting build techniques, like especially on the outside, it's very uncamera friendly. But if we look at the bottom, oh, there goes all the beer bottles. Um, if we go look at the bottom, you can see they use a random blue piece, which I don't know why. They couldn't just use gray or something. But you got some nice detailing. If you don't believe me, this has had beer in it. Let me, um, set my stand back up. And, um, I'll move this out of here. First, we'll move this out of the way, and then move that so I can get this out. That's alcohol. In it, like literally. If you don't believe me, swords and alcohol in the film. So it's pretty bad when Lego starts doing it. Like pretty bad. Also, there's another cup over there, and then we can remove this couch. Actually, it's pretty fancy, nice sand green couch. Sand green is a very uncommon color. But if we look up there, there's a cookie under the couch. I wonder who put that there. Probably Korg. Oh, I'm always playing with Korg. Oh, that sounded wrong, but no. We you can set him on the couch. I'm pretty sure you could set Sore on the couch or set one of his like what's we'll that his bottle on the ground. And then we can put Meek where did Meek go? Right here. There's not so much else to say about the set. It's a nice little set. Okay, I'll look at the instructions and then the packaging. So the instructions right here are your typical instructions for these kind of size, thirty dollar size sets. I am missing only two more. I'm missing that one, which I'll probably be getting next. And then I'll be getting this one up here. And then, yeah. For the box. Oh, it's a big, it's, it's, it's like, I heard it's a $20 size box, which it is, as I put it with my $20 size boxes. And oh boy, it fits. And it is a nice looking set. I like how Korg trying to feed um, me some pizza. But there's no play feature. I just this nice little play set. Other than that, I hope you guys liked this video. Please like, subscribe, comment down below your thoughts on what you're going to do next. And I shall see you guys in the next one.